Thank you to John, and I, I know John just touched on it, but I think we should put our hands together for uh, Justin Murphy. Uh, Murph, where are you, mate? He's had a wonderful year, and uh, we wish him a speedy recovery. That's good news that John just delivered us, that he um, might not be as bad as first thought. Now, before we get underway with the official count, it would be uh, remiss of us not to award the best and fairest in the reserves. To do that, would you please make welcome Carlton assistant coach Wayne Britton. Just uh, before I make the official presentation of the reserve grade best and fairest, it's not often that I get a chance to come up and speak uh, to the Carlton people or address my thanks. I was truly grateful of the recognition I received from uh, Craig Bradley and, and David Park and with their words on Saturday night. Um, a, lot of, a lot of work goes into to footy clubs and, I, and I've been now at Carlton for four years. Um, it's, it's been four years that's changed my life fairly dramatically the last four years and uh, all you people know what a great club the Carlton Footy Club is. I look at the Carlton Footy Club as something that's just the place there that we go and work. The Carlton Footy Club to me is the players and the people that I work with, which are the people sitting over there. And uh, I thank them very much for making my four years and making me now and my family feel very welcome at Carlton and feel that we're making a worthwhile contribution. I know um, I, I truly enjoy working with the players. That's what I love about footy clubs. That's what I'm involved with. And I need you blokes to know that I'm fully appreciative of the support and the recognition that you have given me over the last four years. <laughs> And uh, before I go on to the twos awards, uh, like to, to coach the reserve grade, you need a lot of support from a lot of different people. And um, Brozzy Pricey and Cole Jones are three blokes that have supported me terrific. I know David will thank a lot of the medical people and the other people that make this footy club get round to perform on the weekends, but particularly those three people and also the coaching staff in... Uh, like Mitch, I know you never got much of a mention the other night and uh, John didn't give you a mention then uh, when he recognised the coaches and that were there. But your input over the last couple of years that since I've worked, like you've been a great workmate and also a real good buddy now and it's really appreciated and I'm sure all the players fully appreciate the work that you've done there. <laughs> There's also Sticks. I don't need to tell you people uh, how good an operator Sticks is. But the last few years to me, you've seen him as a great player and a, and a Carlton person, but you're very, very lucky that he chose this club to come to because you've not only got a great player and a great person, but he is ready to do any job that he wants to do at the Carlton Football Club. I'm sure he'll do it very well. And the other one, of course, is uh, Diesel Williams. If if I hadn't have come to Carlton and just from an outsider point of view looked at Williams, I would have thought he was a pretty selfish bloke, played in a pretty selfish type of way. But now over the last couple of years of seeing him and getting to know him a little bit better, I have a much better understanding of how Greg Williams operates and I have immense respect and it's just good to be able to say that I can call Greg and Stephen and Mitch as a, a, a truly good bloke and a mate of mine now. And the other one that's given me tremendous support over the last four years, of course, is David Park. And I mean, when a, and a coaching job comes up, when a coaching job comes up around the traps, like my name was touted last year in a few jobs, and again this year at Richmond, and I'm sure David tries so bloody hard, he tries harder than I do to get the job for me. I really appreciate the support and the opportunity that you've given me to grow since I've been at the Carlton Footy Club, David. Not many, no coach going around would have given me the type of opportunities and responsibilities that you have and me and my family are truly grateful for that type of support. Now I'll do what they asked me to get up here to do. <laughs> the, uh, the reserve grade started tremendously and finished tremendously this year. We started with two wins and we finished with two wins at the end of the year. <laughs> It's just we're a bit worried about the in-betweens. But uh, 
I mean, in that middle stages, there's some young kids running around for the Carlton Footy Club now that are going to be very good senior players, and they were able to develop very well through those middle times. I'm glad we didn't panic, put them in before their time, because I see there's a group of five or six blokes now that are ready to really take the next step, and with a good pre-season under their belt, they'll give us the required talent coming along that'll keep us a chance to be playing in a grand final again in the year 2000. But the winner of the... Uh, the 1999 reserve grade best and fairest is Simon Fletcher. Well, Fletcher's on his way up here. Simon's had two years, two years on, on a senior list at Geelong where he had a knee reconstruction. And we first off rookie listed him, so he's not a player that it's come natural to. He's been around the, the footy scene for, for the last four years. I seen real talent in him one day at Geelong when our twos were playing against Geelong. Simon had to play at centre forward that day and I think he played on Rowan Welsh. And he had a, a knee bandage and that on and he was running around. I thought, this kid's got a little bit of ability. When Geelong delisted him, it absolutely astounded me. And then I asked Shane O'Sullivan, who was able to get Fletch down to train. In the first year that he trained with us, he played in a number of the early practice matches and the last game he played before the draft for some reason we weren't in the draft and couldn't have selected him but the last game he played for us was that Collingwood game that uh, Valentine's game game we play at Optus Oval and he was that good in the last quarter I just couldn't believe that he was still around after that draft and I'm truly grateful that he is because he's been a sensational kid to work with he's the most coachable bloke I think that we've had down there as far as I'm concerned in the last four years and I'm wrapped that he was able to get an opportunity to get onto our senior list and play some good senior footy for us and make a real contribution and the terrific part about Simon Fletcher is the future is where he's going to be better and I wish him all the best in that but congratulations Fletcher.